Hi my loves, welcome back. So today is going to be a super fun video because I'm going to be telling you out of almost 1,000 votes, what is your number one most wishlist bag in 2020? So if you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Mel and welcome back to all my fam bam who are here watching this. For those of you that are following me on Instagram, you would have known that last week I asked you guys, what is your number one wish list bag and to vote in my stories. And you guys sure responded because I got almost 1000 replies and it took ages to sort through, but it was so interesting. Actually, our children help us sort through it. And it's really funny because now they're like, Mommy, I know all the names of the bags now. But I thought it would be fun to split this video up into two parts. The first part being the 10 most popular and the second part, the 10 least wanted bags in 2020. And I'm gonna tell you guys, the results are going to shock you. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next video. I, I still can't believe some of the results because yeah, I just didn't know that some of those bags were the ones that you were kind of like not interested in or even some of the ones that you were ditching in 2020. But anyway, let's start off with the positive and the 10 most popular starting off with number 10 and that is actually a tie between two LV bags. These two LV bags are very popular so I'm not surprised they made the top 10 list and they are... The LV Pochette Matisse and the LV Alma BB. So these two got exactly the same number of votes and these two are popular, iconic bags. I'm actually not surprised that both of these made the top 10 list. This has been really popular, like waiting list on this bag for a while. And the Alma BB, you guys know, I think this is a classic style. So that was at number 10. So coming in at number nine is the Chanel Boy Bag. Now this one, I can't say exactly surprised me, but I didn't think it would maybe rank in the top 10 because I haven't, I don't know, maybe seen people wear it as much or people in the luxury community talk about it. Not that I don't love the bag, not that... You know, I don't think it's a classic bag because the Chanel Boy, it's a great style. I own it in two different colors. So I have to be honest and admit, I actually haven't worn my boy bag for a while. Not that I don't like it at all, but I don't know, maybe there's just some other bags that I like more, but it is a style that I don't see going anywhere anytime soon. So that came in at number nine. So coming in at number eight is the Saint Laurent Lou bag. Actually, when I was counting up all the votes, it was the Lou. I've just put them all into one category because a lot of you guys just said Lou crossbody bag or mini Lou. And you know that this bag comes in the smaller size of mini Lou and also the bigger size, which has been around for longer. And this bag, the price point is so good. It's a great sort of first designer bag. I'm a huge fan of this. You know, I featured it in my, you know, top five mini bags as well. So I'm not surprised it made it. And YSL has been such a popular brand. The Lou, it's a great crossbody bag. So that came in at number eight. Next up is actually a bag from Hermes. So it is the... Constance. And I counted the votes out for both sizes, but definitely the mini Constance had more votes than the Constance 24 because there are, you know, a couple of sizes of the Constance. Actually, there's even one smaller than this, but I don't think that's available now. But anyway, this is the Constance uh, 19 centimeters, and mine is in the beautiful Rose Sakura. Confession time, guys. I actually haven't used this bag very much. I don't know if I'm just not a Constance fan or not, but I love my Rose Sakura in my Kelly 25. And so I just have not reached for this bag, but I know that this is such a holy grail bag. And so I was thinking, oh my goodness, should I even sell it? Should I sell it guys? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't, but I actually thought about it. And you know, when you have a thought saying, maybe I should sell it, that's probably not a good thing. But it's a gorgeous bag. It's classic. It's sought after. People want the Constance. You know, it retains its value. I think maybe because I have another bag in Rose Sakura. But anyway, I do love it. 
I do like the 18 better than the 24. It is one of Hermes iconic, you know, most coveted bags. It, you, you know, you've got this big H logo, but I can totally understand why this made it into the top 10. Coming at number six, it has definitely shot up in popularity. I have definitely noticed that in the last year. And that is this cutie pie. And this, of course, as you guys know, is the LV Nano Speedy. It is too cute for words. It is adorable. I really, really love it. It's really hard to get, though I did hear that they've been popping up online, so do stalk the website. It's just so cute. I just wish they made a detachable strap. Then it would have just been perfect. It looks tiny, it looks like a toy, but it fits so much more than you think. Like, so, so much more. So, I knew this was going to make the list, but I didn't think it would be as high up. But... I totally can understand why. I mean, look at it. It's so cute. Now coming at number five is going to come at no surprise to anyone. And it is from Chanel. You probably can guess. And yes, I am talking about the Chanel mini flaps. So I actually combined the votes because a lot of you guys just said Chanel minis. Some of you specified, some of you didn't. But I'm talking about the Chanel rectangular mini and the Chanel square mini, which I actually own as well. But the rectangular mini got more votes. And what can I say? I'm a huge fan. You know, they're classics, even though they're not officially in the classic range and they're called seasonal bags these fly off the shelves like if you want to get yourself a chanel mini you definitely need to you know have a relationship or usually not have to um you have a relationship with a sales associate because the minute they come in they just kind of just sell so quickly because they are a couple of thousand less than the classic flaps so that came in at number five so before we go into the top four, because I have to say the top four was very clearly the top four, like all the top four that I'm going to be revealing to you, they had over 70 plus votes each for these top four. And the ones that I just mentioned from five to 10, they were sort of more similar in numbers. But before we go into the top four, I wanted to also have a few honorable mentions because they actually weren't that much off the top 10. These ones were like maybe five or six votes off the top 10. So I thought they deserved an honorable mention. The first one being the Chanel 19 bag. You've seen it on bloggers, you've seen it on celebrities, I've seen it a lot of unboxings even here on YouTube and I love this style. I tried it on as well when it first launched last year. I don't have one in my collection but of course I'm going to put up a picture. So that came in really really high I can't remember it was like 11th or something you know all these ones that I'm giving honorable mentions they had like 20 something plus votes so that one is a new style and I can see why it comes in a couple of different sizes so that deserved a mention the next couple that were neck and neck which I wanted to mention too are both from Dior one being the Dior book tote which I wasn't surprised that either. I own the larger sized one, but now it comes in the small, which I really like as well, and the mini. And also uh, this one, you guys actually specified this, but the vintage Dior saddle, both of them got oh, like seriously neck and neck. I think there was one or two votes between them. So I was surprised that you actually said vintage saddle bag. I actually own the vintage saddle bag. I should have brought it down, but that one deserved an honorable mention. And then the final one that deserved a mention that was in this category is also the classic Fendi peekaboo. A lot of you still had that on your wish list. And, you know, it's one of Fendi's most iconic bags. It's been around for years. Again, it comes in the mini size, medium, and different sort of structures. I think more, more of you sort of voted for the mini, but that deserved an honorable mention as well. So, drum roll. Coming in at number four. Now, all these were like so many votes, but number four is the Birkin. And out of all the Birkins, surprisingly, you guys, more there was more votes for the 30 than the 25, but still tons, as I said, all this was like over 70 plus votes out of this thousand. So the Birkin bag is a very coveted bag on your wish list. Again, I am not surprised because 
it's my sort of dream bag. I think the 30 is a great sort of medium sized bag. Maybe that's why you guys voted for it because the 25, as cute as it is, it's not that comfortable to wear. Like it's harder to sort of get through. You can probably get it to about here. And if you've got really skinny arms, you probably can, you know, wear it at the crook of your arm. Whereas in this one, this size is probably more classic. I own both. I love both. But Birkin came in at number four. Now, coming in at number three, this one surprised me. I thought it was going to be in the top 10. I didn't think it would be in the top three, but there was so many votes on this bag too. Oh, like, I think this one was maybe over 90 or something. And it is from Dior, the Lady Dior bag, both in... Some of you didn't specify, but lots of you said Mini Lady Dior. A lot of you just said Lady Dior. This bag comes in so many different sizes. The fact that they've introduced the small, no, there's a mini, then a small, then a medium, then a large, and in so many different fabrications. It is an iconic classic bag, famously named after Princess Diana herself. If you love this bag, I can totally understand why. You guys know I picked up a mini version in velvet, which is so, so cute. I'm so glad to add it to my collection. It's a classic. It, you can't go wrong, but so many of you wanted to add it. And it was quite interesting reading the comments because a lot of you like, I don't know what hardware or, or what yet, but I just know I want a Lady Dior in my collection. So this was your number three most wanted bag and number two is can you guess well i knew it was going to be in the top five but this one got way over a hundred votes and i'm talking about the gorgeous hermes kelly melly loves kelly's so i was wrapped that this made it so high and i love this bag you guys know i'm a kelly girl I own a 35, 32, yeah, I, I think I own all the sizes. But the most popular size was actually the 28, which I, you know, I'm not surprised. 28 and the size 25 got the most votes out of all the Kelly sizes. But it was so popular. So many of you want this bag. I mean, look how ladylike it is. It's classic, it's elegant. It's timeless. It comes in the Retin-A, which I have here, or it comes in the Cellier. The Cellier is the one that looks more structured. I have that as well. And, you know, if you were to ask me what is my preferred size, if I had to pick a 28 or 25, it would be so close. But maybe because I carry a little bit more, I love the 28. But the 25 at the moment is just so, so hot. And that's probably harder to get than the 28. But... Yeah, Kelly, way over 100 votes, your number two bag. And finally, can you guys guess what your number one most wish list bag is for this year? It came at no surprise for me. I kind of thought it would be number one. And that is the Chanel Classic Flap Bag. I mean, what can I say? It is Chanel. And interestingly, because of this whole sort of, you know, pandemic and everything, I think a lot of you have put this on your wish list because I have also seen on the pre-love market that these bags have sort of gone down in price a bit. So maybe that contributed to it. But regardless of that fact, the Chanel Classic Flap, it is just so sought after. It's been sought after for years. Everyone my opinion needs if you're a luxury lover needs to add one to your collection the interesting thing that i saw among the votes although a lot of you just said chanel classic flap i saw more people specify chanel classic flap in the smaller size and i do own this in the smaller size as well and i think like say three years ago that was not as popular and you can see with chanel now in all their new collections the smaller size has been highlighted a bit more and has even come in purple and all different bright colors but i would say there was still probably a few more votes for this size which is the medium and large and definitely less for the jumbo so the classic flap sizes are the small you know the medium large the jumbo even the maxi but i don't think i got any votes for the maxi but this one 
as I said, way over 100 votes. This was your number one most wish list bag for this year. So that is it, guys. I hope you found this video sort of fun. How many out of the top 10 do you own? I was pleased that I could actually show you examples of all of them because it's really interesting to sort of see and read what is your most coveted bag, what is your most wanted bag. A lot of these didn't surprise me. Some of them ranked a bit higher than I thought. A couple of them I thought that may make the list didn't, but as I said, all those honorable mentions, it was quite a close call. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I just thought it'd be really fun. I said I would collate it, but I thought, you know what, let's just do a YouTube video and I'll tell all you guys what the voting was like. Don't miss out on part two, which is coming very, very soon, the 10 least popular styles. And yeah, you're going to be shocked. So thanks for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys.